Hi guys, it's Belle here and it's Margaret Miller Monday and we are back with week 16. There we go. Put that hashtag in if you want to check what everyone's doing. And please do check out the links below because there is a link to where you can purchase these prompts from. So let's get started. Right, so the first one is a playing card either side. So I've got two. I had this playing card here, which you can see that I've cut my tab out of already. And then I have this little mini one because I'm going to do something with that as well. Cursive writing. So I have this from an old ledger scrap. An image with two shades of green. So I pulled this. I mean, we have got it that side too, but we're going to use this side. It's got several shades of green here. And this is from a watercolour magazine. An old one. Something representing aviation. I just went with... A plain, simple, but works. Um, a piece of a restaurant menu. So I've got this little bit here that I'm going to use. It's from um, a Chinese takeaway. And bonus, a star. I've got a star punch. Teeny, tiny one. So let's get started. So I'm thinking I'm going to do it portrait style. I've done quite a few landscapes. Um, and I like changing it up. So we're going to do a portrait style. And uh, we're going to use this bit of the menu here that says set menus because my theme is holidays. And I think it's just because it's, you know, coming up to that time of year, uh, people, um, hold on, let's just rip that off now. Uh, you know, it's that time of year. People go on their holidays. Okay, so I want this bit cut. I'm just going to trim it. And there's some red in the image. So I picked the image first and then a theme kind of came to mind. So this to me looks like a hotel. So we're going with the idea of a holiday in a nice, warm country. kind of want it there, like so, so that the set meals is um, in the centre. And it is, I know, <laughs> it does give me almost Agatha Christie vibes. It reminds me of... Um, is it Death in the Caribbean or Murder in the Caribbean? A Caribbean Murder, I think it is, with Agatha Christie, with Miss Marple. Um, I don't know why it gives me those vibes. Um, although, I don't know if she went by plane. She might have done. Um, I'm not sure that's actually said in the book. Let's make sure this is nice and centred glue everywhere now obviously where is my bone folder i'm going to do it from this side because it just works better for me so yeah so we've got that there so it gave me those vibes it's not based on you know that but it gave me um that kind of feel when I was looking at the image okay so we've got that I do want this image this image is going to take up a lot of the um, bottom half of the index card get your words out today Belle what's going on what's going on I'm just kind of cutting it or trimming it to size so that I can look at what it looks like on there I've actually got this bit on the other side. I think I'm going to keep that. You never know if it might come in handy. I think I'm going to have it down. You can see the red in the roof, which is why I wanted the red on this bit. And I'm going to do this. So we also have the ledger paper. It all kind of fits. This bit. Perfect. Have that up a bit actually. And obviously, 
obviously that's where the plane comes in because even that bit I think I'm going to keep. Um, because people are flying for their holiday. It may or may not be straight. It doesn't matter. I just need it roughly so that I can glue. It's glue, glue, glue. So I hope you are all doing well. We've been doing more work in the garden with clearing and getting things ready. Um, my neighbour gave me some uh, sunflowers seed, uh, seedlings, so I planted those up. They also gave me some chilli seedlings. And it's one, it's Bueno, I think, Malata or something, which apparently, I've not had that one before, apparently it starts off this beautiful deep purple, so that'll be interesting. I'm not intending really, I say that now, to grow too many vegetables. I used to grow vegetables every year and get everything sorted, but I'm not really intending to do that. But So I liked this because it had dates and it had names. It also says wages underneath, but I thought the dates with the names worked quite well. As like, you know, when you used to book into a hotel and there'd be um, a sign-in book I thought that worked really well I am actually going to edge it with a bit of walnut stain let's actually put a bit more walnut stain on there so yeah that that was my thought with the ledger for the cursive writing was that it was a sign-in book I know some places still have those, but they're more like guest books for if you want to leave a comment or something. Um, but obviously most people sign in. It's all electronic now on a computer. Um, it does make me think in years to come. I mean, we're using things like these ledgers and that, but in years to come... There won't be many of these kind of things left because everything, as I said, is done on computer, um, which is quite sad to think of, really. I am wondering if I want to round the edges. I haven't round the ed rounded the edges in a while on any of them, and I feel like I want to. Now I thought, do I want to just trim them, do something different? Trim them. Okay, let's do something different, guys. I wouldn't normally do this, but I don't know. Let's just trim the edge off so we get a slightly different um, look. As I said, sometimes I round the edges on these. Or oh, I can almost make it into like a tag. Reminds me of like luggage tags. See where I'm going with this? That just suddenly popped into my head, reminding me of a luggage tag. Okay, so I'm going to do that. And then we're going to put our aeroplane on here. I want it so that we can still see some of the cursive. Might put it further down. I might put it here, actually. Because then we can see the date as well. We still get to see the green could just have part of the plane on there. Would that look weird? Yeah, I think it would. Try it this way. See, if I have it up here, it kind of covers a lot. If I have it like that. Oh, and I forgot my words. So I'm going to have to pull some words out. I'm just inking this up. I feel like I want it higher, but it covers the date and I wanted the date to stand out. But then we need the cursive writing, so... 
I'm trying to work out where the actual tab's going to go. So let's see how I feel about that. And this tab, because it's the jack, also has red on it. I feel like it's going to go up there. Okay, I feel like I'm going to do that instead. I'm saying I feel like a lot. There we go. Oh, come on. I literally checked this glue before coming on. Okay. Let's work out where I want it. Yeah, about there. Okay, that's good. Now I'm going to glue this on because, because it's quite, it's card on the back, but it's shiny on the front. And I'm a bit worried about whether I'm going to be able to write on it or not. Did I say about there? Okay, and I chose this side rather than that side because this has more light spaces, which is going to make it easier to write on. And I am going to try with my Posca paint pen and I really hope, I'm using this, I really hope it works because this is shiny. So, 16. And I'm going to leave that to dry a little bit while we are then going to punch some stars out of this playing card. And then see where we're going to use them. As I was thinking of using them on the plane. You know, almost like it's got it on its wings. Like so. And then maybe, do we want one on the, on the tail? Or just in the middle, we could have three stars. Do I prefer it with two? No, I think I prefer it with three. So... My little stars can go into that part. Okay. I'm going to ink around this. Oh, it'd be good if I could hold on to it. Ink? No, I'm not. I'm going to glue. So, yeah. So, they are going to go onto the plane. I know they don't stand out, but I'm actually going to put... Um, use a black pen around them so that they stand out a bit more like so and then this one okay and then I will have to get my um words out so i think it just says a star but there's three there's three a stars right hold on guys i'm trying to find a black pen let's make sure that works and then i'm just gonna go around the star so that it stands out and it picks the black up in the card that I've used there and there's also a bit of black on these windows so that's one of the reasons and also they just stand out now got a bit quiet because I'm going around the edges so I'm not sure if this is going to be one of my favorites I also thought with the playing cards, often when you go on holidays, or you used to, um, 
you know, you'd play cards and board games. We actually always keep a pack of cards, huh, I quite like that, in our car even, so that if we're on a long journey or we have to stop somewhere, um, we just always got one in case we forget to take something else. Um, yeah, I really want that more. Okay, now I'm just going to grab some words and we'll we'll be finished. Okay, so I've got a few options. So I've got this, which uh, says life is a grand adventure. I thought that was quite good. But I also have... So I had um, a bit of a session where I took the edges that I had in my scrap bag and I just stamped on them. I quite like the adventure one. Explore. Quite like the adventure one doesn't cover up all the green which is good let's cut that yeah I just spent a few minutes um, kind of using lots of different stamps and stamping out lots of um, words phrases numbers all sorts wanted this ripped but it's a bit like adventure okay let's ink that up I think I want to use that and just in case you're new here first of all hi hello welcome um I like to add words or a word to um my um cards I just think it adds to the overall final piece and I really like that sometimes it's a phrase sometimes it might just be a single word like it is today um, that's just a me thing that's just something I like to do for me so let's move all this and here we have it guys and it looks like a tag almost like a luggage tag so a playing card either side, I'm gonna, oh that has dried, we've got a playing card there, um, cursive writing we've got here, an image with two shades of green, we've got these really dark palm trees and then this much lighter green in the foreground on this image, um, something representing aviation, a plane, a piece of a restaurant menu we've got in the back and bonus a star which I also punched out of a playing card. And that, guys, is this week's one. Do you know what? I wasn't sure how much it would be. Like, okay, it's not going to be a firm favourite. I have some index cards that I've done so far that I really, really love. But actually, I really like the final product. And I think... I think adding that word just pulls it all together um so yeah that's it week 16 guys i hope you really enjoyed this please do like and subscribe if you haven't already and i will be back soon with another video until next time wherever you are in the world i hope you're having lots and lots of crafty fun bye